and, and getting that vaccine does help them with that. But it doesn't seem to stop the cases. And stopping the cases is why we have mandates, why we're told that we have to lock down. All of that has to do with spread. And it doesn't look like anything stopping the spread. So Israel facing their fourth dose is saying, I don't know, what are we going to do? Uh, we've tried it all. We've done all of this vaccination. We can't really sit there and jab the population every couple of months. Um, so what are we going to do? They don't really know. They're kind of uh, in, you know, the, the public is starting to say Look, there's no strategy. And the government, when you read what they have to say, it's flipping every day. They don't really know. And it's clear that they're sort of at a loss. And they're just kind of saying, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. So this pandemic, you know, here we are two years in, as I've mentioned, six waves in. And we have not figured out what to do. This COVID versus man, man is losing when it comes to this. There's no seeming to, to stop this virus. And the pandemic is driving people nuts. I just want to share with you some stories, outrageous stories of how nutty this pandemic has caused people to go. A woman, a Chicago woman, was traveling from uh, Chicago to with her family to Switzerland. They made a stop in Iceland mid-plane. You know, she tests herself getting on the plane several times. While she's on the plane, she starts to feel sick. So she decides for peace of mind that she's going to test herself again. She's carrying COVID tests with her on the plane. She then takes a COVID test and discovers that it's positive. She freaks out. She doesn't know what to do. She's thinking COVID's going to kill her and she's going to kill all the passengers around her. So she locks herself in an airplane bathroom for hours on end until it reaches Iceland, where she ends up quarantining and her family goes on to Switzerland because they tested negative. So she stays in Iceland during the entire vacation. Never, by the way, gets sick actually in Iceland. She's just having a good time and TikToking all kinds of stories. Another crazy story, a woman, a teacher in Houston, her 13-year-old son tested positive for COVID. What does she do? She's got to take him to get a second test for verification. So she locks him in the trunk naturally of the car as she drives off to go and get him tested. Uh, she said she didn't want to get COVID. So she locked her 13 year old son in a trunk. She's now been charged with child endangerment. Um, another this is a really, really awful story. This one comes out of Australia. And, you know, Australia has been extra nutty when it comes to COVID. But a woman was actually badly tortured. She was captured by her former ex by her ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend. For whatever reason, they captured her. They held her hostage for a week where they tortured her. Literally, they, they cut off a finger. They burned her. Uh, she finally figured out a way to escape their their uh, hospital. You know, them, they're, they're holding her hostage. She runs off to a grocery store. Uh, she's obviously, I mean, she's missing a finger, you know, and she gets to the grocery store and they won't help her because she's not wearing a mask. She was turned away. So she ends up going and finding another place. They end up helping her out, calling the police. She's asking for a cab, uh, but they also would not allow her in. They told her she wasn't wearing a mask, so she needed to stand outside. I mean, give me a break. What is going on here?